Previously on the kids' table, yes. Yes. so excited. Our heroes stopped an agent of the God of Secrets from getting to Seren, champion of the Goddess of Knowledge. Yay. So, Serena, tell me the next part of the story. Win. Because you win. But now, a gnome is yelling at them. Who in tarnation is making all the rackets out here? Who is this gnome? And why is he yelling? We're doing a. I we have to have it. Find out on this episode of. I knew it. The kids table. What is going on here? Who um, are all you people? Um, we're from Crane's Rest. I don't know what that is. What? Well, okay, then have fun. And he starts to close the door. Wait, 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 before you close the door, we're looking for a man named Seren. Do you know where we can find him? <gasps> Who's asking? Royal Settling? Uh, <laughs> soldiers sent by Ismiene. Soldiers sent by... It's me, Anna, the goddess of knowledge. Yes, thank you for <laughs> telling me who the goddess of knowledge is. Um, uh, maybe you should come inside. Okay, yes. come on in. And he leads you inside uh, this uh, this house, this two-story house. The first the first story um, is just covered in equipment and papers, there's like a stack of books on a chair in the corner, the table has all sorts of like rocks on it, like uh, this is a very not organized, not tidy place. Alright, start at the beginning. So you are soldiers no. what? from Ismiene no, sent we're... to find Seren? Yeah! Did I get that right? Yeah. No, Mostly. What, what am I missing? We are We're not. Nothing. We are not soldiers. Yes, I, that's part of the reason my voice sounds like this because you clearly are not soldiers. You're children. I'm, and, I'm a teenager. Ah. Oh, I sit corrected. So we came from a small town near the coast called Crane's Rest, where we were attacked by a man who. Perhaps may have been sent by the god of power who and summoned a dragon and we were forced to flee our town and we've had to deal with various battles. And da, 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 da. We had a meeting with the goddess of knowledge and she told us to come find Seren. So Fuldmacht is on the move then? I believe so. Yes. Are we very surprised that he knows who the god of power is? You know a lot about the gods because mm -hmm. you are a cleric of one of them. Um, People generally know the Pantheon, okay. um, but he came up with that real quick. Yeah, think? I mean, I he was very. He, he seems to know more than yes. He's letting on. Yes, okay. yes, for sure. Uh, he he says to you, and what um, what are you supposed to do with Seren when you find him? Can we do a quick team huddle, real quick? Team huddle time. Do if this is. <laughs> In front of the and so, and so no, we, we just move off into a little corner. And so you so you sort of push aside some of the some of the equipment, some of the apparatuses. He he sits back in his chair and is like, "No, that's no great. Have a secret conversation in my house. That's fine. Go for it." So, if this is Siren, I have a suspicion that it could be. Do we want to tell him that he is in danger, or do we want to? Keep him blissfully unaware and just be there um, to protect him. Um, uh, let's tell. Yeah, I would tell him. Yeah, let's tell him okay. that. Yeah. We're I supposed would... to protect the guy named Sren. We should let him know because if he has, it seems like he has a lot of yeah. items, and we want to have all the resources we can. Uh, that guy so seems. It's better to prepare him so he's ready for any battle. That yeah. So you so you break out of your huddle and you turn back towards him and he's just sort of sitting there in his chair like this like right you done a secret conversation okay. in my living room okay I'm gonna need some answers from the four of you before I kick you out okay so Seren's in danger that's why we were sent by the goddess of knowledge Seren's in danger we were sent to really 
Well, yes, okay. I, yeah. I'm Seren. Archimedes Seren, at your service. Um, the goddess of knowledge sent you here because I'm in danger. Um, yeah. Yes. Did she say why? No. Why possibly. I'm. I'm. A, I'm a scholar. I'm a tinkerer. I. I You're a scholar. I. I. I learn yeah. things. I'm not. I, I don't. I, why would food mock be after me? I. I'm having a little bit of memory issues just because of our long journeys without food. But I believe that the goddess said that. Is it food mock? Mm -hmm. Is yeah. afraid of your growing knowledge, and he's a, afraid. The cult of power is afraid of me. I, I could be remembering wrong, but as a vote of way to Let's encourage your confidence, we we have um, a messenger from the god of wisdom. God of knowledge, with, goddess of knowledge with us. Come on, Cass, so come I out. open the coat and I pull the cookie out of my bag and I try and I'm like, here it comes. Cass <laughs> immediately jumps out of your coat and off onto your her shoulder and. <laughs> and, and then can Bernard fly out and my other shoulder. <laughs> That's great. So you've got two animals. Um, Seren, Seren sits forward at this and says, you have one of the Casale with you. That's that's what you are, right? That's your Casale, and yeah. um, and Kaz still sitting on your shoulder. And, and then, well, so I'm a, I'm, my name is Kaz. My name is Kaz. It's nice to meet you. You know what a Casale is, right? It's um, it's it's one of the the divine messengers. It's he's you are really were sent by this, the cultists of knowledge. Oh, oh. I'm in danger. Do you think that... Did you stop? Did that guy... Who was that guy outside? He tried to fight us. I don't... But we... was he after you? I think he might have been after me. We have no idea. Um, we well, have... Well, what do you know? And he, he runs to the door and he he opens it, finds the guy who's still just lying in the street, Wait. and I hope runs I... over and starts rifling through his stuff. Oh, I was gonna say we did, we should have seen if there was anything. Do you do you want to go out there too? Well, yeah. we should see if there's yeah. anything. I'm gonna go value. out too. So uh, everybody, roll an investigation okay. check. She got a three. I did get a three, but plus I got a fourteen. Six. So you got a 14, six. Fourteen, five. Wait, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nineteen total. Woohoo! Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen plus, plus seventeen. Seventeen. That's okay. Nineteen. Six, seventeen, nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> I am terrible at so, so, <laughs> so Rosalie and Sophia decide to sort of stand back and stand guard, make sure that nobody else is coming around. Um, not like with those like rolls, you'd be me? able to see anybody coming, but you, you yeah. feel like you're <laughs> doing Six tails. The two gonna... of you with your little fingers join Seren at, at the body of this man. So so a couple of things that you notice. First of all, his robes are different from the robes of the guy that you fought in Crane's Rest. You pull out a necklace that he's and around his necklace, he's got this pendant, this sort of this bigger um, um, uh, thing, this bigger stone, and inscribed in the stone is um, a shape that it, it's like an oval with a line through it. Like, like a power button? Uh, <laughs> not a power button. More like like if you're if you're going shh, like this. It looks like the shape of the lips and the shape of the finger. This is the the emblem of the god of secrets. I, I get why it's a shh now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like shh, exactly. Okay. Um, although it, it doesn't, from, from a modern take, it does look like... Um, <laughs> that off button. It's, it's, it's good. Um, and he doesn't have anything else on him. He doesn't have any money. He doesn't have any orders or paper. That's it. There's nothing else on him except this pen. And Seren finds it at the same time that he does, too. He turns to you and he says, I thought you said it was the God of Power that was after me, not the God of Secrets. This man clearly is an agent of the God of Secrets. Uh... I know you said the god of power, but this is this guy is not from the god of power. This is the god of secrets. Uh, yeah, but you know. 
And then she, he pulls out the necklace and he shows you the pen and says, This is the symbol of the god of sea. Do you know anything about the... All right. Um, and he takes the necklace off the guy and then just sort of leaves his body there <laughs> and just walks back inside. And he, by this time, has cleared off some space for you to sit. And he says, all right, so apparently, okay. Let's get a, let's get a few things straight here. Uh, I am just, I'm just a scholar. I just, I learn things. And um, some of the things that I've been learning lately are I've been about the gods. So maybe this is why the god of power, how much do you know about the gods? Oh, she knows a lot about it. Mostly <clears throat> about it. I am a cleric. Right. Daily baker by trade. But I do uh, have knowledge, and I, my but my particular patron is the god of the ocean. Um, Mordos. Yes. Um, yeah. Right? Yeah. More Thank more you for reminding me the name. <laughs> <laughs> Your own you know? god, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I uh, totally remember. Morwardas is one of the lesser gods. So the pantheon, all the gods, let me back up. I feel like a history teacher. Long time ago, long thousands of years ago, the people, us, well not us, the people before us, didn't take very good care of the world. Things were, things were bad. Things were very bad. The oceans were messed up, the, the forests were almost gone, the air was really hard to breathe. The world was not very well taken care of. And then... <coughs> the gods appeared? The gods appeared. And you goddesses? Know some of this. The gods and goddesses appeared. And they fixed the world. They helped us fix the world. Ow. They took charge. Mori Wardaz took charge of making the oceans better. Um, uh, Tararo took care of the heavens, the stars in the sky. Mm. Uh, I Ilathi took care of the forests, and, and, and on and on. But those are the, the, the lesser gods. We call them the lesser gods. They each <coughs> control a different part of the world. But then there are the greater gods who, who, who have dominion over, over bigger things, like the goddess of knowledge. Knowledge covers many subjects. Power. Um, um, there's yeah. the god of beauty, the goddess of creativity. All, all, all of these... God sort of um, take a bigger approach to the world. Power down. Power is probably down. In s well, it's not. It's not quite that simple, young one. It's. It's. Power can be good, right? <coughs> in a way. In a way, if you use it right. Knowledge yeah. could be bad if you used it poorly. Yeah. The gods and goddesses aren't merely bad or good. They. They just are. Well, or something like that. I've been discovering lately, I'm not sure the gods and goddesses are who we think they are. I know, right? <laughs> I've been uncovering old books, old testimonies that talk about the gods in a different way. I've been <gasps> scouring ruins and temples, looking for clues to who these gods and goddesses might actually be. I can, I can show you. Would you like to see? All right. Of course. Well, not, not tonight. There's, um, there's, a um, there's a tower down near the beach, a little ways, a little ways away from the city that I've been trying, actually, actually, you four might be helpful. I've oh, been trying yeah. to get into this tower to see if I can learn more. Hmm. What do you think? Mm. I think we should go. I think so? Are we considering going to the beach to the tower now? Uh, he looks out the window Wait, and says, well, it's, it's a little late. I'm not sure I have enough room for the four of you to stay mm -hmm. here. Let's sleep on the four. Four. If that is all right, you could yeah. welcome to sleep on the floor. So he he bustles around. He he finds a couple of blankets, I'll sleep on the couch. a couple of things, pillows. You sleep me, on the couch. Me too. Yay! Great. I'll sleep. Uh, and, and gets you all ready to to bed down for the night. Is there anything else that you need before you? Do you want me to sing you a song? Oh no! Sorry, okay. it's been a while since I've had visitors. I'm not uh, sure the proper etiquette for nothing. you know a slumber party. Do you have any short stories about the god of power? Ooh, yeah. 
Can we ask Seren to read us a bedtime story, please? <laughs> ah, that was more what I was going for. He he looks he looks at the four of you, and says, "I mean, you could just read the. All right, I'll read it to you. Sure, everybody <laughs> lay down." And he he opens the book. You want to hear about the God of Power? Yeah. About full knot. Mm-hmm. Let's see. He sort of skims through the pages and comes uh, comes to one uh, story. And the the picture uh, at the front of the story is this um, red dragon breathing Wait. fire. Uh, and he he tells this story about a village that was under siege by a red dragon. Mm. Uh, it, which means that the, the red dragon was trying to attack it, was trying to defeat it. And um, a little girl in the village, a little um, elven girl in the village, one night has a dream. Uh, and in this dream, the god of power comes to her and says, all you have to do is take a spear and go up between the toes. The toes? The toes. And she wakes up the next day and tells her father this. And her father says, so that's a weird dream that you just had. Don't go to the dragon. That's a terrible idea. She has this dream three more times. And each time, the god of power comes to her and says, take the spear, put it between the dragon's toes. And so, one night, she that, that last night, she sneaks out. I knew it. Because the warriors in her village had been trying to fight off this dragon with uh, arrows <clears throat> and slinging stones, but the, this dragon was pretty too powerful. Too powerful. She sneaks out, and she goes to where the red dragon is. She takes the spear, her father's spear, and very, very, very sneakily comes up to the dragon and stabs between the toes. And when she does, it looks like an, uh, uh, the, the antler of a deer comes out from between the toes. Like, like it had been stuck in his claw, and when she stabs, the antler comes out, and the dragon's head, he's been sleeping on the ground, whips around, and looks at the little girl and says, Oh, that feels so much better. Uh-huh. And he flies away. And the moral of the end of the story is, um, sometimes power means doing what is necessary. Okay, now go to sleep. And so our heroes bed down for a well-deserved rest. But what secrets does this tower down by the ocean hold for them? Uh, I'm scared. Just. What's the worst thing? What's the worst, What's the worst thing? that can happen? And who is that lurking in the shadows? You hear a voice <laughs> from the staircase behind you. Find out next time on. And then you're gonna end their story. The kids' table.